For the moment, we're going to ignore all of the little things that these episodes do right or wrong and focus on what makes these episodes key episodes, and that's the element-based morals. In Rarity Takes Manhattan, our dear element of generosity spends the first act being indiscriminately generous to every passerby she meets on the street, which inevitably comes back to bite her in the ass. My generosity has ruined me, I tell you! She then takes advantage of her friends by cashing in her earlier generosity towards them in order to secure their help making new dresses. By the end of the episode, she reaches the epiphany that demanding something in return for your generosity is not in fact generosity. It's shit the Mafia does. This revelation nets her a key. In Rainbow Falls, the element of loyalty has to choose between staying loyal to her friends, who are, um, shall we say, less than qualified to fly in the Equestria games, the non-winners, or staying loyal to her lifelong ambitions, been dreaming, I've been waiting to fly with those great ponies, by finally flying with the Wonderbolts. Rainbow cracks under the pressure and opts to choose neither by faking an injury. After talking with Soren in the hospital, she reaches the epiphany that if someone's willing to sell out their friend just for the sake of shaving a couple seconds off their time, that person probably isn't worth being loyal to in the first place, thus earning her a key. In Pinky Pride, the element of laughter gets so absorbed in trying to throw Rainbow Dash the best birth anniversary imaginable it's your birth -aversary! that she loses sight of the fact that the party is supposed to make Rainbow Dash happy. <laughs> Tense competition on my birth anniversary. What could be better? She reaches the epiphany that parties are in fact supposed to be all fun and games, and earns a key because of it. In It Ain't Easy Being Breezies, the element of kindness is so nice to a group of adorable alien creatures that she damn near dooms them to a life of being trapped in a strange horseland. <laughs> After a runaway sea breeze almost gets himself killed by a swarm of angry bees, Fluttershy realizes the breezies probably won't survive in Equestria very long. And if she doesn't get them back to their home before the portal closes, they're going to be stuck there for a very long time. She reaches the epiphany that the way to be kind to them in the long run is to be cruel right now and kick them out of her house. This gets her a key. In Leap of Faith, the element of honesty lies about the effectiveness of a tonic. And then some stuff happens, then she reaches the epiphany that lying is bad. Then key. Those of you adept in the field of pattern recognition might have noticed that in the first four key episodes the conflict arises from the pony in question adhering strictly to the nature of their respective elements. And the conflicts were resolved by the ponies doing what amounts to the opposite of their element. Except in Rainbow Falls. There, the conflict was resolved by Rainbow just getting all the information and making an informed decision. In Leap of Faith, the conflict arises from dishonesty. Honestly, Apple Bloom, as long as it works, I don't suppose it really matters. And is solved when Applejack tells the truth. Because this tonic is a fake! So it has the opposite structure to a key episode. Another key element of the... Who wrote this crap? Another integral component to all the key episodes is that in addition to learning a lesson about their element, each of the main six also teach a lesson about their element to another character. With the exception of Pinkie Pride, where Pinkie Tachi sandwiched the lesson many years ago without even meaning to, Belief of Faith also falls short here. Silver Shill starts out the episode knowing what he's doing is wrong, Evidenced by him running away, and sweating bullets, and cowering behind Flim and Flam when it seems like some pony is onto him. And he even says he didn't like lying to ponies up until Applejack made it seem okay. Yeah, I used to wonder if I was doing the right thing, you know, pretending to be cured, basically lying to folks. Coco Pamel was more than willing to help Suri Polymer cheat her way into victory before Rarity came along. Well, I wanted to make sure you'd win. Spitfire thought throwing Soren under the bus was the right decision up until Rainbow Dash told her off. And they told me that they were worried I wouldn't be 100% by the tryouts, so they were going with some pony else. Cheese was a sad moat before he stumbled into Pinkie Pie's party. I was so shy, no pony knew my name. And Seabreeze was a dick before he met Fluttershy. Silvershill was just doing something he didn't like to make money. And then Applejack came along and made him think it was okay. Thanks to you, I realized that sometimes honesty isn't the best policy. If AJ had just done the thing that seemed right from the very start, everything would have turned out just fine. 
especially since Granny Smith didn't lose any of the confidence she gained from the placebo tonic after she learned it was all fake. In every other key episode, the pony does do the thing they think is right. It just backfires on them. Thank you.